Hello, welcome, I am Ellie. It is time for another build challenge. Today, we are building with this color. Yes, I do not know how to identify this, so I am calling this, alternate the names, I'm calling this the Too Much Mint build. Lego actually calls this color light aqua and I kind of alternated in my head. It's, it's, I mean, it's both of those colors. It's a minty aqua color. <laughs> anyway, there are a variety of interesting shapes in this color, like the, the wristbands from the dots theme. There are, there's scaffolding, there are slides, there's those windy staircasey things, but there are a lot of things we're missing, like clip pieces, uh, and yeah, we got, yeah. Okay, what panda? A mint panda, well that should make that easier. This That should make it so easy, a mint panda. Wow, done, we're done, right. <laughs> oh, and some of these capes, like the cape colors are actually classified as light, light aqua too. Like this one is classified as light aqua. I don't know how, because it's mostly silver, but you know, I am calling it. That is, I, I'm gonna use that if I can, so. <laughs> All right, right. Help me! First up, we are going to make a character for this. These are the pieces that we have. These are a whole bundle of body parts all popped into a minty cupcake holder. I wonder if I can utilize this in the build. Ah, I'm going to challenge myself give it a try. So, mint body parts. What do we got here to work with? We've got a vampire, like a male vampire face. There's a female, yeah, female vampire face as well. We're going to need a vampire character, like the bad queen. <sighs> um, the other, or an alternate male vampire face. Okay, and there's another one here, which is Sophie with her face mask on from the original mall set. Whoa, okay, we have so many choices here with heads. What else we have? Nothing's coming to me yet, unless we want to do vampires. We have this new hairpiece which came with Stella in the, well, new colour, with Stella in the in the magical, magical funfair sets. This is Nida's hairpiece from the elves. That might go, <gasps> we could have like a mixed race, um, an elvish vampire character, maybe. Let's fiddle with that. But I love this hairpiece more than life itself. I really want to centre this build around that. We could use this. But I don't want to. <laughs> we do have a scooter. There's actually an aqua scooter. So we could have we could have a really grubby scooter and maybe we could use the helmet for that. Maybe. But I do have Ariel here in her light aqua dress. Uh, let's have a look at some of the bottom parts and the torsos as well. So these have got aqua on them. So even if there are other colours on them, that's fine. As long as we've got aqua on it somewhere. That's a male torso. I don't really have any legs that go with a male really we could use this so this could go together here for our vampire character this one we could just kind of shove this on here that one was emma's in before the reboot this is like a vet's top and this we can put this on there that looks okay oh oh i got a duplicate of that one out no let's not do that one let's um Let's pop that one away and let's put that the way. I love this mermaidy sea shelly kind of scalloped top more than life itself. So I really do want to use that. That's another male torso. Gonna I'm not leaning towards the male torsos at the moment. I don't know if they're gonna work. So let's try putting together a vampire character and see whether we can do that like elvish vampire crossover. Would that work? That actually looks really cute. The little ears are the wrong colour because their skin's actually aqua as well. So I don't know. I can't get a head off. What if we what if we try what if we try a different head with the wicked queen <laughs> and try Stella's hairpiece on there? That actually works well. We could have this the wicked queen in an aqua incarnation. But this hair piece, I just want it so badly. <gasps> okay, all right, I've had an idea. So if we have Ariel, right, as a mermaid, because she's a mermaid, but like this, but like a casual mermaid with legs. Are we, are, are you getting this? Am I, are we going anywhere here? So I want to use this top so, so much. And so if we're going to have something kind of cash for the bottom, let's use these legs. So we can have a mermaid character, but she has legs when she's on land. I have no idea what we're going to do. <laughs> the evil queen's just staring at her malevolently. Oh, it always happens. Right, okay. So we are going to have our mermaid. We're going to theme this around mermaids, which, which should work. Okay. Unless, of course, we want to bring our evil queen in on a scooter and can <laughs> completely like confuse the narrative which I like to do I like to make things no and she's just knocked everybody over now she has to go right so remove everybody remove the evil queen and her scooter and let's stick with our mermaid right okay a mermaid build that's an idea let's see what sort of pets she can have so I really 
I really want to use, I don't know. So we've got a couple of cats. We've got a little cat, we've got a big cat. we got this <laughs> this puppy from the Disney Princess Palace pet things. Got some, oh, got some marine animals like the turtle and a dolphin. We've got multiple dolphins. We'll definitely use them, but they're not going to be her key. I mean, they're going to be in there. Let's use the cats. Let's have her have, be a cat lady, a mermaid cat lady. That makes sense, right? <laughs> oh, oh my god, oh, but can't even speak. Her name has to be Aquamarine. Ha! Huh? And the cats are gonna be Pepper and Mint. <gasps> Pepper Mint. Oh my gosh. Okay, all right. I dazzle myself. That's so much fun. Okay, all right. So we have got some base plates, some some aqua base plates here, which is good because I like to have something to build on. Now I don't know where the where the heck I'm coming from here. Let's start by putting these together just with this random piece. Uh, I'm just going to have this down here. We'll definitely use this in the build because it's got dolphins and sea themes on it. So it's perfect. And it's aqua. Now we do have minty windows, which is good because I like the fact that they give you some negative space and some airiness and some light. And we just using one single shade for this whole build like there isn't light like there isn't mid aqua and dark aqua there's just light aqua that's it this one's gonna go nicely we can use that over the, I love the the um the 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 um I, li <laughs> I love the articulation in it no what do you call it like the patterning in it it just makes it much more interesting now we've made a nice frame <gasps> let's use this this is not a lego piece but it is a duplo piece and duplo is lego and I'm totally using this this came in the big doll's house the duplo doll's house and I reckon if we put smooth bits up here we can actually catch Catch this up and use it as a big backdroppy curtainy kind of thing and just break up the blockiness that's going to happen otherwise. Which I just want to use lots of different textures and lots of different, uh, yeah, textures. That's probably all that I've got here because we don't have different shades, just different textures. That looks cool. There's one piece of grub on it, which I'm trying to remove and it's thwarting me. I got it. I got it. I won. <laughs> okay. Now, I don't even know what this room's going to be yet, but I want to use this piece. This was the bottom of Cho's dress in the uh, Harry Potter advent calendar. I'm going to use it as the basis for a sofa, I think. So we have lots and lots of these curvy pieces. Lots of them, like lots. Lots of them. So we're going to have lots of rounded things, I think, in this build. Let's build that up maybe. Yeah, it has to sit a little bit higher so we can see it. So a nice big kind of royal-sized sofa. A sofa for one mermaid lady and her cats. Enough room. And if I use this here, yeah, okay, so I can backfill that with these little single plates. Nice. And we can do the same thing on the other side. There we go. And then if we put these on here, then we've still got some studs here. I can put, we got these angle pieces as well. And these can go on like the fancy armrests. Ooh, that's a bit different. I like that. It's different. It's interesting. It's unusual. Right. We're going to put this right central to our fantastic windowy frame thing we've made. Yeah, and we can pull this up and I'm going to use it later though. But now that's actually holding those two, those two ground plate things together. So it's now time to bring in the turtle head, I think. This is from the elves theme. Massive, massive turtle head. We could suspend it up here as a centerpiece. And it's not like a trophy or anything like that. It can be like a, it could be a hat. No, it is not a hat. Although it does have that little stud on the top. She could actually wear that as a, right, no. I'm going to make a frame around this window and have the turtle head as the center. But the turtle is magically magical. Mm, and alive and not a trophy. And it's just here because it's water themed. And it's going to look fantastic. So we are making a curtainy frame because we have the pieces, I think, to do this. So these go up like that. And that goes, that will go there like that. So then I think that's going to be tall enough. So yeah. So if I connect that like that, and that should definitely be the right width, I think. Just trying to make sure everything is going to fit where it's supposed to be. That is not going to be overly stable, but that's okay. Let's do the other side and see how it looks and whether it fits in. And that should this should actually frame that fabric piece. That's my plan anyway. So let's see. So that looks great. And we can put the turtle head on the top in the middle. So is that that is too short? So let's take that up by a brick on each side. Yeah. Yeah, no. So let's take it up even more because I want it just a little bit lower than the back, the back one, if that makes sense. So two plates on either side should take us up. Just one under. Yeah, perfect. And then we need to, oh, I just want to bling this up on the top with this little mermaid, mermaid scale piece. It's so perfect. We actually have so many aqua colored 
watery theme things. So it goes really well with our mermaid theme. So we put this on here. Nice. And then we can maybe round it out, like make it a proper, what do you call those things that go along the top of the curtains? Is it, is it a pelmet? Like a helmet for your curtain, but with added P. That, that sounds really bad. All right. So we have got our pelmet along the top. Makes it look completely finished. We put our toe. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I've broken it. It's okay. I can put. Oh, this <laughs> is really broken. Fine. Uh, you're right. We'll put this all back together again. <laughs> this is obviously my frame's not terribly stable. Look at, look at poor Aquamarine there. She's broken. The cat's just looking on in dismay, saying we're really glad we weren't involved there at the moment. Right. Okay. So we're fixed, and we've got our beautiful turtle head frame around the sofa and the window. Whoa. Right. Cupcake holder. Now, because this is a single color build, I'm definitely using transparent in this. You know, don't at me. It's 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 the only way we're gonna get anything happening here. But I want to make a an aquarium. I reckon that these are going to yes. Look at that. Right, they're only holding on on one side each with a single stud, but we'll connect it at the top. That is secure-ish, we'll call it. And we can put the little dolphins, our little minty dolphins in here. But first up, we're going to have to build it up a bit. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to see them from the bottom of the cupcake, the cupcake bit. So maybe, yeah, that should do. So now we're going to use more transparent things uh, to make them look as though they're suspended in the air. We'll put the dolphin, or in the water, sorry, because it is water. It's going to be water. And some oh, anemones. And we can use this, like the ice ice pack thing because it's in the right color it looks so cute on the top for like a little corally anemone kind of thing pop another one on there if i turn it yeah that should fit nicely <gasps> look at that okay let's see whether i can also make a jellyfish out of this bit because we've got these drippy icing pieces and this skirt piece if we put these together <laughs> Can we convince anybody that this is a massive jellyfish? I feel, I mean, the top needs to be rounded over and I kind of only have this. So it's a, mm, I'd love to round that top over a bit more, but I have to work with the pieces I have. So that's it. That's our jellyfish. It's a jellyfish. It is a jellyfish and you will not tell me it's, <laughs> it's not. Right. So if we put this in here, then we can put this dolphin back in and the jellyfish can go at the back. It's a jellyfish. Uh, and I'm going to need a whole heap of tubing here to suspend it to make it look as though it's going glob, 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 glob in our aquarium, in our cupcake aquarium. Uh, yeah, that's okay. I feel as though it could be a bit higher, but I like that. Let's put another, let's move this over and put another dolphin in here too. Slightly differing height to the other one so that it's baby dolphin central inside our little aquarium in the mermaid's house. <gasps> nice! And then... Then we can put our front, our front transparent pieces in. And look at that! The cupcake holder has a purpose! Who would have imagined? And I think I can use this piece to go on the top. It's not gonna, it's just gonna sit on the top. It's not actually gonna click on there, but it'll, it'll do. We can use these to just fill that out a bit. So pop that on and then rather than let's round this over because we can with a bigger one of these and a flat bit of these and there we go i can put it over here and she's got her own little aquarium inside her mermaidy house ah uh, there we go nice now let's move it one more in is that any good yeah that looks good okay all right let's have a go at making a bed a bed because i'm going to just try and fit as many things into here as i can pop it here so if she's a mermaid a water bed would be sensible right so this big a uh, big curved square, rounded edge square, because we have all these rounded edge pieces, going to utilize them as much as we can. And now I'm wondering what on earth I'm going to do now. <gasps> we have a slide. Why don't I make a slide into her waterbed? Oh, then I'll have to make stairs. No, okay, I can do that. I can do that. So let's make <laughs> this one step at a time. If I put this there and at the back, we can have water splashing up because it's, it's a waterbed but it's not like a traditional waterbed like you had in the 70s it's 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 a mermaid waterbed with actual water in it right okay <laughs> this is insane but i'm loving it now i have to think about what we're going to do next next let's just suspend it up a bit no suspend's wrong word let's just pop it up a bit let's put some feet on our bed <laughs> and uh right okay let's build a, a mattress for the inside but I don't want to actually put that, I want that to be a floating mattress inside. So we'll use these rounded pieces for her pillows. And uh, let's be creative with the dots. Let's use these, these uh, mermaid tail 
tail print pieces from the dots and I could kind of make a, a warped kind of mermaid tail bedspread for her maybe out of out of these squares and quarter pie pieces let's give it a whirl so that's all I have of the mermaid prints so they're just kind of the little focal pieces for her bedspread and we'll see how this turns out kind of looks like they're around the wrong way let's put these down like that and then some more square ones along here I hate the fact that I can't get these in straight. Drives me bonkers. Another quarter pie piece there. Some of these these uh, mint pieces are darker than the others. It's not just my camera. They actually are darker. Ooh, that's trippy. Okay, so this goes in here, and I want it to kind of feel as though it's floating. So if we smooth over the bottom of those studs that we could see in there, this is just being... I mean, we're just, we're just going crazy now. And then we can float this on them. Look at that. Oh, it's a plan. And then I want to use this. So, I mean, why, why wouldn't I? I do have some forward facing stud pieces. Let's just round over these edges. Let's finish up this bed part first. Make it look finished without the exposed studs. But now if I have the forward facing stud pieces, which are kind of the only things I can use to add like yeah, things on, on a different angle. So if I put that on there, that looks all right. And then I can use these roundy bits here and that one here, we'll do the same thing on the other side. <gasps> That's like a fancy royal frame for her mermaid bed. We could do this over here too, except I don't know, hold on, I have to see whether the slide fits in. Let's see if I can even get this on first. Go on, there we go, okay. <laughs> there we go. All right. So I couldn't put that quarter pie piece on because the slide's annoyed. Let's not look at the back. It looks manky. The, the front is where we are at at the moment, people. <laughs> this is just a single color build. We, we need to put, where am I going to put this now? So if I move this over here, this is all getting a bit complex now. I can add this to pop it like a bit of flooring to put our yeah, aquarium over here. So the other side can then be for the bed and the slide and the stairs. Oh my gosh, okay, stairs. I do have a lot of bricks for stairs, like just boring bricks, but let's build up the back of the staircase. And these, these sticky pieces that came out of the, the, the resort, they're just perfect. I mean, they're water themed and they're aqua. I mean, it, we can't go wrong. Put this one up here. I told you we're gonna use it. That's so good. Now she's got a wall with pictures on it going up behind her stairs. So how high do we need to make this? Oh, okay. Sticker piece. I've got a sticker here with some aquary mermaid scales on it. Perfect for the base of the stairs. So now we just need to make sure that these stairs go high enough to reach the actual slide. Okay. We thankfully have got a whole lot of two by one bricks. So that should do us to get up to where we need to go. And uh, if I alternate, that might make it more secure, but I want to use this to use... Uh... Okay, now that'll do. It doesn't security doesn't matter so much. That's gonna fit there, and that way I can actually crack the um, I can crack the slide off the back if I need to with that last step. That's my plan anyway. We've smoothed over the steps. They're perfect. Let's put this, install this slide, install the bed. Got stairs going up to the slide. Everything is working out. Aquamarine is trying it out. And her bed looks amazing. It is a bed fit for a mermaid princess. It's so good. Oh, and down here, there's a minty, a minifigure tutu piece. That can be like her bath mat for when she gets out of bed. She can step out and dry her feet on it before she goes onto the floor. Oh my goodness, I love it. When a plan goes together, I'm trying to fix up the back of this, it's not gonna work. We're just gonna ignore the back of the bed. No, it's done, the bed is done. Over here, a big drippy, a, yeah, a big drippy toffee, I can't say it, a coffee table, a toffee, toffee cable, uh, because, you know, everything is kind of drippy in, in this. It works so well for the water theme. And this troll hair piece, I reckon we could use this as a little single chair stoolie kind of thing. And once again, it's got all that texture on it, so it works really, really well. So transparent piece, that's fine. We're ignoring that. If I put this on there, that'll make a seat. Doesn't really sit. Okay, look away, because I'm just putting a Technic pin in and no one will know that's there. La la la, I've cheated once. Once, that's it. <laughs> and we can put mint on here and pepper over here. I can't remember which way the room went. Pepper and mint are now in the chairs. On this side here, though, I want to make a door. Well, I mean, I'm not going to make a door. The door is already made, but we're going to make a path out to the ocean. And the door door, we have the perfect key to open this door. An aqua key with the ocean emblem on it. 
Ah, this is all just coming together so perfectly. It's like the story's writing itself. I love it when that happens. So we're going to need to build this up a little bit and the ocean can actually be like leaking in over the door. Oh, this is fun. All right, so uh, let's get this on here and then we can put our leaky ocean through with our sloped pieces. Like here we got a lot of sloped pieces. So that's the ocean coming into the actual apartment, which she's fine with because she's a mermaid. She's, you know, she's at one with the ocean. A few little oceany wavy things here. All right. And on top of the door, we can use our matching emblem. So we know that this key is for this door. Not that we <laughs> would ever have any other like ideas of what this door was for. I mean, it'd be pretty obvious because the water is leaking in through it. And on the top, because that needs to be smooth for me to be able to put that on. We've actually got the little narwhal mouth on it. Okay, next to the door, we can, oh, we can use these pieces from the, from the cubes, from the paper holder, and we can use them to hold her skirt, which is what she puts on to magically transform into her mermaid tail when she steps outside of the door. So just like like the Selkie stories from the uh, Celtic mythology, so they have their seal skin, when they take it off they become a human and they have to put it back on to become a seal and go back into the ocean. Oh my gosh! All right, so, and up here, I'm going to use another one of these skirt pieces as a barnacle, a big barnacle uh, piece, but it's an inverted barnacle. Or we, I don't know. <laughs> Does this work? I don't know. Maybe I could put this over here. I just wanted to use another skirt piece because it looks awesome. Okay, it's a big art piece, people. And down here, I can put a little seat more droopy seats for her to sit on while she's busy changing from her mermaid tail into her, you know, magic, magical transformation takes time, into her human legs. All right. Oh my gosh. Like, but we've still got to actually put our ocean out here, a little ocean taster. So we need lots more water and wavy bits and, 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 and these, these smooth pieces, but this is going to be our focal. A focal piece, this is actually her mermaid tail, maybe, or is it the frothiness of the waves? No, I reckon it's, it's her mermaid tail, maybe. I don't know, it's just magical and it's the right colour and it works. It's actually Sisu's dragon, Sisu's, Sisu the dragon's tail from, from Raya, from the Raya. Do, do, do that all make sense? You guys will know what I'm talking about. So <laughs> it's perfect though. It looks like a mermaid tail, right? So you can either decide whether, I wonder if I can actually get her to wear that. Ah, so many things to plan, but we're, we're busy putting a whole heap of watery bits in here and this just makes it look more magical and watery and it's aqua and it works. <laughs> okay, now I just got to backfill all these bits and just make it look as though it's kind of wavy and frothy and fantastical and fantamagical and magistical. I'm just making words up now. None of them actually sound even, <laughs> even remotely normal. Oh, this is so funny. Fun! Uh, yeah, okay, and I think there might be a spot here for a dolphin. Let's put the dolphin here in amongst the, 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 the mermaid -y tail waves. And if I put the flowers upside down, they actually hold that tail on. Oh, and this can be a seat over here for her to sit on. Once again, you know, transitional seats, very important. <laughs> and another sea anemone, maybe I could pop it here or a corally kind of thing. I don't even know where I'm going to put. put put this, this, this mermaid -y, taily wavy thing is just taking everything up. Let's pop it there. No, maybe I can pop it there. Tuck it. Yeah, that's cute. Oh my giddy up. This has just worked out so perfectly. <laughs> I ended up, ended up with a whole story here in my head, but there's a big blank space at the front. So I just want to make another couch. We're going to put a nice big, another big couch in here. Otherwise I won't feel as though it's finished. And you know, I, this mermaid just needs to have everything. So let's see, this should fill the space. These are just some tiles that I put some washi tape on. The washi tape is, is predominantly minty colored with some blue just to break up. Oh my gosh, all the aqua mint that we have happening here. And we can round over the top, put some little studs on, some little quarter pie pieces up here just to add some definition to the top. And I think that's really cute. And this is also gonna help hold my ground plate pieces to together on that split. It's just gonna help the security. Wow, look at that. She can even use this as a bed, secondary bed, if she doesn't want to be sleeping in the water. If she doesn't need to stay hydrated all the time, she could just have a little nap here. And on the side, there's even room for a token side table. Look at that. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. I'm just thrilled. This is just insane. I love it. So she can come out here. She can change into her, or not change into her mermaid tail. She doesn't have to. She can just hang out out here and commune with the dolphins. Who am I to say what she wants to do with her life? Right. Okay. Wow. 
I thought, well, it, it, this was hard, but it was so super duper fun. And oh, I made some things that were like completely outside of my comfort zone with pieces I wouldn't normally use. This was fun. All right. Too much mint slash light aqua build. Tick. Done. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. If you want to see more builds from me, make sure you subscribe. It's the time now. We're at the end of this video. Thank you for sticking with me all the way through. I hope you enjoyed our Aquary Mermaid themed build. Turned out really well. And I'll be back with another video really, really soon. So I will see you then. <laughs> Bye.